एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम In the first part of our lecture, we talked about reduction and oxidation reactions, cyclization reactions, and a few important applications of those reactions. In the second part, we will be extending our reaction mechanism theory to ring formation reactions, or as well as the ring opening reactions and synthesis of few important drug molecules. I'm Dr. Manika. Welcome to Ace Chand Academy. And for more information on such topics such as stereochemistry, reaction mechanisms, you can follow our book by S. Chand Publishing. The link to which is given in the description box below. Ring opening reactions are an important part of polymer chemistry. How? Because they help in the formation of the polymers from simple monomers or from small polymers to large chain polymeric molecules so this is a common method used in polymer chemistry for chain growth polymerization here you can see a nucleophile attacking a simple uh, monomer which is cyclic in nature so this nucleophile is helping in opening so you see in all these reaction the mechanism is a kind of substitution reaction which is happening in a concerted way where both the nucleophile coming and the leaving group getting detached is happening in the single step this is quite similar to the substitution reactions which we have discussed in the other lecture also so here the nucleophile as is coming and we are getting the xj extension in the length of the chain so this can be extended to the synthesis of polymers such as caprolactone which is also initiated by an alkoxide alkoxide we all know are good nucleophiles another important application of ring opening uh, can be encountered in epoxide chemistry epoxide are cyclic ethers of very small size usually because these are the more stable one most stable ones so under the presence of nucleophiles the epoxide ring can easily open up to give variety of other functional molecules these are versatile reactions in organic chemistry which proceeds via sn2 mechanism why sn2 because substrate is a small one unhindered one and if it will be hindered one the ring opening will be difficult and it proceeds via both acidic and the basic medium acidic and basic medium kind of favors the epoxide ring opening see for example in the presence of cyanide this epoxide ring can open it can open from both the sides it doesn't matter because it has similar uh, for similar kind of groups or similar kind of atoms on both the sides so in the presence of cn negative the epoxide ring opens to give you an open chain structure bearing both oh and the cyano group epoxide ring chemistry can be extended to variety of other uh, functional molecules also so as you can see on the screen epoxide ring can be used to obtain various other functionally active molecules for example when they react with aliphatic amine the nh2 of the amine which will be nucleophile in this case will attack the epoxide ring from the other side which is not hindered and the product will be formed will look in such a way similar reaction with the grignard reagent followed by hydrolysis will will also give the product leading to the attack from the unhindered side the reaction with alkyl lithiums will also give the corresponding product by followed by ring opening of epoxides also reduction with the lithium aluminum hydride uh, with lithium aluminum hydride of the epoxide ring leads to the formation of epoxide ring opening so you can see that how versatile is the epoxide ring opening chemistry via utilization of the concept of nucleophilic substitution mechanism can be applied to the formation of various molecules even if the reaction occurs in the acidic condition the oxygen gets protonated which even favors the ring opening uh, with oxygen get with the ring getting open without the expense of oxygen getting a negative charge that is to say that if an acid is present the ring opening is easier because oxygen now need not have a negative charge on the ring opening its octet remains complete so this knowledge of 
reaction mechanism which we have obtained so far can be applied to the synthesis of drug molecules also. In the beginning of this lecture, I asked that can you do you think of a way in which the synthesis can be reversed or looking at the molecular structure, can you design its synthesis? So that is known as actually the retrosynthesis. Retro means reverse. Reverse of synthesis is retrosynthesis. Now aspirin is an important antipyretic drug. It is also used as a blood dilator in pharmaceutical industry. It's used in our households also. So if you look at the structure of aspirin, it looks like this. So if in order to synthesize aspirin, if you look at this structure, we need to design the synthesis of the molecule by looking at the substrate. The easiest way is to look at the connection which can be established by using the two reactant molecules. So the reactants which can be used to synthesize this product are known as synthons. Synthons are the precursors to a reaction in the organic chemistry. So this reactant, this product can be uh, uh, synthesized by using two reactants which are forming the bond over here. So for this, we know that we have started something known as acyl substitution. In the first part of the reaction mechanism, acyl nucleophilic substitution reaction. So nucleophilic substitution reaction involving acetic anhydride over here and salicylic acid, which is orthohydroxybenzoic acid, can lead to the formation of aspirin easily. How? Here, OH of the salicylic acid or orthohydroxybenzoic acid will act as the nucleophile and it will attack the acyl center of the acetyl acetic anhydride with the leaving group and aspirin is the product of the reaction. Another important antipyretic and analgesic drug which is used in our household is paracetamol sold in the various countries with different names such as Advil etc. So this can be synthesized by simple reacting phenol with dilute sulfuric acid with sodium nitrite to give orthonitrophenol first and paranitrophenol which can be separated to have the paranitrophenol component which on reduction gives uh, paraaminophenol which again on reaction with acetic anhydride again a sort of acyl nucleophilic substitution reaction. So here NH2 being more nucleophilic attacks at the carbonyl center and the product formed is paracetamol. So with this, we come to an end of the part two of the lecture on reaction mechanisms. We have, we have talked about uh, redox reactions, cyclization reactions, ring opening, ring closure reactions, synthesis of important drug molecules and various other applications. For more information on such topics such as stereochemistry reaction mechanisms, you can follow our book by S. Chan Publishing, the link to which is given in the description box below. Please keep liking, subscribing and sharing our channel for more such videos. Thank you. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.